morning everyone this is Austin from Raw Bliss today is Saturday another beautiful day um, it's about 9 30 right now I started my day around 8 woke up did some more massage and like a seven minute squ sit squat to start out the day and I've also just been massaging my feet like crazy Because you gotta do that when you're working in concrete. It's really helpful. Um, so now it's about 9:30. I got myself a gallia melon. It's, it's a nice small one, and it is super ripe. You can kind of tell. It's got the little indents on the side. You know, it's soft. It's really soft. This is one of my favorite melons. It's like a cross between a cantaloupe and a honeydew. Mm. So sugary. So watery, delicious. Melon season's incoming, you guys. Get your melon in. <laughs> your melon in, you know? In your skin. It's funny. Just spell it with an O instead of an A. And you got in the melon. Your melon in. But all fruit has melanin. Not just melons. It's our pure life force energy. That's what melanin is. So I'm probably going to make it another melon day. I got four cantaloupes left. And I'm going to bring one to work. And I'll probably snack on a couple of bananas or apples at work too. And then I got eight, about eight avocados waiting for me for dinner. Because when they're on sale and they're ripe, I just hop on that. Just hop on it. They're definitely my favorite fruit right now. So good. I know if you, I noticed if you cut a melon like right down the middle instead of like horizontally, like vertically, then um, the top half or one half will be sweeter than the other half. Cut it horizontally, you don't really get that. This one's definitely sweeter. More juicy even. I think it's because like whichever end Maybe it's closer to the bottom, 
So like all the nutrients go to the bottom or like it goes to the flower on top. I'm not sure, but one of the sides definitely is going to be sweeter. It's nice when you start out with the not so sweet side and then you finish off and you're just like wow amazing Oh, that's about it. Wow, that thing's small, but it is sweet. That is juicy. Packs a punch, you know? I love Gallius. I love them so much. I'm not sure if there's another melon I like more. Uh, seeded watermelon is going to be my favorite, but Gallia melons are much more available year-round, almost year-round, you know, but the seeded melons are coming soon, coming soon, hopefully in a month or so. I'm really excited, as well as some other organic local melons uh, that we get from Oregon. Oregon has some amazing melons, the Crenshaw melon, which is like a yellow, kind of wrinkly one. We have the Snow Leopard melon, which is completely white. Um, very small, like a small honeydew, and then it's got green and orange spots on it, and it tastes like straight up white sugar. It is amazing. And um, we also got the orange honeydew, you know, it's green on the outer ring, and then it's orange in the center. It tastes like a cantaloupe, and then a honeydew on the outside. Like, it's amazing. There's some amazing... Oh, the Peel Del Sapo melon, too. The Santa Claus melon, or winter melon, or whatever. Christmas melon, I think. But one of those, it is amazing. It looks like a football. Kind of like greenish gray. That thing tastes like, kind of like a Gallia melon. Just way sweeter. These are like some of the best melons ever from Oregon. Oregon has some really good melons uh, when they're in season. I think it's like May, June, July, something like that. But hopefully we'll see them soon. Anyways, that's it for this video, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give it a like. Subscribe for more. I'm um, here every day. Hoping to do a video on sun gazing soon. And uh, my massage routine. I'll show you guys. So thank you guys once again. Make sure to eat raw. Stay blissful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.